Today, August 29th, is International Day Against Nuclear Tests. Today is about raising awareness about the effect of nuclear testing and promote the goal of a nuclear weapon-free world. The United Nations General Assembly declared August 29th as the International Day Against Nuclear Tests in 2009, aiming to educate the public and encourage global action against nuclear testing. Nuclear tests have led to severe health problems including cancer and birth defects and have caused long-term environmental damage such as radioactive contamination of land and water. The Trinity test, part of the Manhattan Project, was the first nuclear test which took place on July 16, 1945 in New Mexico. During the Trinity test, there was a girls' dance camp about 50 miles away from the test. A group of girls thought that the radioactive ash falling from the sky was snow and they rushed to a nearby creek to play in their bathing suits. They rubbed the powder into their faces, tried to scoop it up and make snowballs, pressed it onto their skin, and all 12 girls ended up getting different forms of cancer, and only one of them lived past the age of 40. The two atomic bombs in Japan in 1945 killed over 200,000 people and injured probably more than 100,000 people. On August 5th, 1963, after more than eight years of difficult negotiations, the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union signed the Limited Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. Since then, over 2,000 nuclear tests have been conducted worldwide, causing environmental damage and health issues. The United States is in first place for the most nuclear weapons explosions. And once again, I am not proud of us at all. On the bright side, our last nuclear test was in 1992, but we are still apparently modernizing nuclear arsenal and upgrading old weapons and building new ones. The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, the CTBT, was opened for signatures on September 24, 1996. The United States was the first to sign, followed by China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and 66 other states. As of 2023, 185 nations have signed the treaty, but only 159 have ratified it. According to the Federation of American Scientists, this is the estimated global nuclear warhead inventory of 2024. And at the top of the chart, we have the United States and Russia, both above 5,000. Let's work together to achieve a nuclear weapon-free world.